Well, howdy y'all, it's your buddy the Texan Detector. And your boy is on vacation. I slipped on down for a few days down to Galveston Beach. And here's where I'm at. I'm chilling, you see, I got my snacks, I got my little room, got me a nice TV. I mean, it ain't the Ritz, got the, the adult bar over there. It ain't not the Ritz or anything, but for what I want to do, this is fantastic. Let's get a view outside for a minute. Oh, I guess I gotta unlock the door. <laughs> there it is, beautiful Galveston Beach. And the water actually looks really nice for a change. So hey, I'm down with it. So, we're gonna be down here for a few days. We're gonna do some metal detecting. I'm gonna drink some margaritas. I'm gonna chill in the hot tub. This is not a sightseeing trip. There will be no sightseeing fit photos. There will be nothing but metal detecting going on in this place baby so hey uh right now i'm gonna chill out for a minute just drove in gonna get my have me a little drink give me something to eat and we were gonna we're gonna hit the beach first thing in the morning and we gonna hit it all day i'm thinking jamaica beach but i don't know sea walls looking pretty hot we'll see you tomorrow yes sir Here we are guys. I decided to hit the seawall in front of my uh, hotel. Now, I've seen a lot of action out here last few days. Um, I waited till it was a little cooler in the day. It's about 6.30 so I got a couple hours to hunt. I even got my uh, headlamp with me if I decide to hunt into the night. But anyway, we're going to go out there. We're going to have some fun. We're going to dig some holes in the sand and hopefully we're going to find that beautiful gold ring. Yes sir. Alright, I'll see y'all out there on the beach on the first target. Okay, I got a... 26 right here probably a pool tab but <laughs> missed it just a hair maybe a nickel maybe a gold ring I think it's really small. Maybe I'm pinpointing something else. Uh oh. I seen something I didn't like. All that for a damn pool tap. <laughs> All right, y'all. So yeah, I'm working down this little cut here, and I found me my first coin, just a crusty penny, but I'll take it. Let's keep on. I think it's a penny. Yeah, it's a penny. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on, see what else we can find. Yes, sir. Well, I had the yeah, 48, 49 here in the water, on the water's edge. Got me a quarter. I will take it. Now I've got a quarter, a dime, and a penny. <laughs> I'm going to keep on keeping on, see if we can find some more goodies. Yes, sir.
Well, I got me another 48 right here. Wonder if I got my second quarter. Uh-oh, I hit something down there. I see it. You see it? There we go. And yeah, that's another quarter. Not old, but hey, a quarter is a quarter. I'll take it. All right, y'all. Yeah. On to the well, I just found a coin right there. And then I got another signal right here. So I should have another shallow penny, I would think. Well. I didn't like that thud at the end. Let's see what we got here. Well, it looks like we do got another coin. All right, starting to get the coins a little bit. It's starting to get a little dark. I might have to get my headlamp. All right, well, let's keep on keeping on. Well, y'all, yeah, looks like I got me another dime. Woohoo! <laughs> Just hitting change today. Let's keep on keeping on. It's got to be jewelry out here somewhere. Well, started off rough, but I got me another quarter. I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> it is starting to get dark awful quick. I think I'm going to have to walk back and get my headlamp. Either that or call it a night. I might just call it a night. Well, hey, hey, hey. I did finally get a nickel. Yes, sir. Hitting this little cut. Got my first nickel. That's every coin on the board now. I just need to find that piece of jewelry. Let's go get it. It's got to be the next hole, right? It's going to be a nice, pretty ring. <laughs> well, in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, your boy comes up to plate, and I wouldn't call that a home run, but that's a, it's a hit. <laughs> it's some kind of jewelry. It looks like junk. Definitely junk. It's all rusted up, but that's interesting. I'll definitely put it in the pocket. What is that? Like a little ghost or a hand? That's like a little ghost. Like on a, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Pac-Man? <laughs> all right, well, let's throw it in the pocket and see if we can't find anything else before we call it a night. All right, y'all, this is the next day. I'm at a new beach. I'm at Jamaica Beach. And, uh... First signal, I got 39. I'm using the old school scoop today. I hit a big battery yesterday and kind of bent my scoop, so I'm going to save it for... I'm going to try to save it for dry sand. Should be right in there. Well, maybe not. That should be it. Yep. go George See anything stuck to my scoop? I do not see anything on the ground. Well, 
Well, I'm getting a signal over here now. Oh, there it goes. I knocked it out the scoop. I knocked it a little further than I thought I would have. But it is a penny, looks like. Let's put it in the pocket. Let's keep on keeping on. Yes, sir. Well, got another 38. Got another crusty penny. These pennies are pretty crusty. Makes me think maybe no one's been detected around here. Let's keep on keeping on. It is windy as hell. I hope y'all can hear me. All right, y'all on to the next one. Well, I think I might have something other than a penny or a, or a pull tab. say 1.09 doesn't bang near as well as 1.07 did oh shoot I just threw it back in the hole I think I seen it Oh, there it goes. Oh. Well, I've seen it. I'm going in. I'm going in. There she blows. And it is going to be a dime. That's what I thought. But I had to check to make sure. Well, we got us a dime here on Jamaica Beach. We'll keep on keeping on. Uh, I think I'm going to hit the by my truck over here. Just a little bit of dry. I'm going to move on down the beach. I got my headlight would be nice, so we, we can stay a little longer if we want to. All right, y'all. On to the next one. Well, y'all, it's been a rough day, but there you go. Well, I had a 48 there, and now it sounds all junky. Probably going to be a bottle cap. We're going to find out together, though. Almost on it. Should be right about there. No? I have a bad feeling about this one. I hit something. Probably the bottle cap I'm looking for. Well, I got my 48 again. It is a quarter. See, but that's what I'm talking about. 1.07, that quarter would have banged. And that sounded like trash. Um, hmm. I'm highly debating about going back to 1.07, but I love the fact that I can uh, factory reset. I don't beach hunt that much. Should I just downgrade to 1.07 when I go beach hunting? Hmm, good thought. I don't know, but I got a 1991 quarter. Let's keep on keeping on. Well, I got me a junky 25, 26 signal. I thought it was going to be a pull tab, but uh, it is a nickel. I will take it. I hope y'all can hear me over that wind. Let's keep on keeping on. The sunset is looking nice. But uh, that means we got less time to detect, so let's get to it. <laughs> all right, y'all, on to the next one. Well, y'all, I moved to the dry and I found another one of those 23, 25 scratchy signals. Uh-oh. I thought that was the nickel. <laughs> I just had the imprint.
mean, this hard, this wet sand is hard to shake out, and I'm not finding my nickel. There she blows. She was stuck to the scoop. Hey, hey. I know it'd been there a while because it had that pretty green imprint. All right, so it's another nickel. Let's keep on keeping on. Hopefully, we'll find something good before we got to go. All right, y'all. I got an interesting one here. It's ringing up like a really deep quarter, but I don't know. Should be right around in there. Now I got my solid 48 again. Should be right around in here. Well, maybe not. Maybe just a hair over. Okay. Here's something banging in there. Yep. There she is. Got me a lovely quarter. I'm happy to see that sucker. It's been a rough day. I might hit, hit the dry sand a little better though. The, the wet sand was like silent. All right, y'all. On to the next one. Well, it got me a nice 45 right here. Should be right about yonder. Let's see. Yep. I think I sainted it. Do y'all see it? Yes, sir. Got me another time. I will take it. I guess this is kind of it's a flag day. I'll take the flag with. It's all good. I'm chilling on the beach, having a good time. I cannot complain. All right, y'all, on to the next one. Well, y'all, time's getting short. I wouldn't normally dig a 38 because I'm pretty sure it's just a crusty penny. But those penny signals can trick you. See, now I'm getting iron, but I've been getting that a lot. On decent targets, so I don't know. Okay. I hit something. And it sounds like junk. And it's a bottle cap. Whoo! Once you get down to that dark layer of dirt, it don't smell at all, man. <laughs> Telling you, I'm missing my note to scoop. I'm throwing everything out of the scoop with this one because I'm not used to it anymore. Haritos. All right, well, got another bottle cap off the beach. I don't know, it might be the last target of the day. We're going to keep trying, though. All right, y'all, either on to the next one or I might see y'all at the wrap-up. I don't know. They say it's going to rain a thunderstorm tomorrow, but if not, you know I'll be hitting the beach. Well, y'all, the vacation's over. <laughs> That's okay. We had a blast. It was a great little vacation, a great getaway. Your boy just needed some time to, to free his mind. And I uh, also needed time to swing my thing and get out there with my metal detector. I got out there with the Nokta Legend using my 1.09. And I had I got mixed signals about it, so I, I'm gonna ask y'all's opinion for one, and I'm gonna give my opinion for two. For those of y'all who uh, beach hunt with the Nook the Legend, what are your thoughts of 1.09 compared to 1.07?
Okay, now let me give you a little bit of uh, insight from my hunt. Uh, first day hunting, I hit a beach that gets hammered. I mean, I seen people that morning metal detecting that beach pretty much every morning. So my philosophy was, you know, if they're going to hit it every morning, I'm going to try to hit it every evening so that way I get whatever's been fresh dropped throughout the day. Uh, I didn't really get any fresh drops. I mean, it was really strange. I mean, I, all of my signals were deep, crusty, but that also meant that the signals were jumpy and uh, pinpoint acted really strange. It's like the pinpoint uh, field of pinpoint was very small. Now, this could just be because these were old, deep coins. I mean, all my coins were like seven, eight, ten inches deep. I mean, green, crusty. You had to scrub them off just to make sure it was a quarter or a penny or whatever it was. So I'm not sure, but I'm not sure if that was just because of the crusty clad being as deep as it was or if it has something to do with 1.09. Because honestly, hunting with 1.09 that first day felt like I was hunting with 1.05 got those choppy I mean you still get the signals but they're not banging they're kind of choppy and they're kind of iffy you know and then you dig it up and it's a freaking quarter and it's like dang I thought I was gonna be a uh, bottle cap so I just want to see anybody else's opinions was it just the beach I was on or is that how other people are seeing 1.09 as well now the second day of detecting 1.09 started acting like I expected it to act my uh pinpoint field was uh normal uh signal started to bang again but then again this beach this is a more natural beach so it's only got like four to five inches of actual sand um after that there's like a hard gray clay so your targets aren't that deep for the most part so i don't know if the depth and the salinity was what was causing this or not um I had such great experiences with 1.07 at uh, South Padre and Crystal Beach and a few other places that I, pl I used it. Um, so I am going to go back as soon as possible. Probably won't be this week, but maybe next week. Back to Crystal Beach with 1.09 to see if I still have that same experience I did last time or if it's feeling like 1.05. So all y'all who use the legend on the beach, Give me your insight. Tell me what you think. Was it just because they were deep, crusty clad? Or are the signals just not as banging as they were with 1.07? Because um, honestly, I have both programs on my computer. And if I don't get the type of results that I want to next time with 1.09, from now on when I go beach hunting, I'm just going to upload 1.07. That is until Nocta does something to straighten out the issue. If there's an issue, this may have been totally me. I don't know. This could have been just the fact that I was expecting things to be banging uh, shallow signals and I wasn't getting anything but deep, crusty clap. Uh, so that's my two cents on the 1.09 beach uh, hunt. But uh, let's get down to the lecture at hand. Let's see what your boy came back with from the sand. Yes, sir. First thing I'm going to show you is this monstrosity of a, I don't know, I think I found the flux capacitor. No. <laughs> now I'm guessing this is some sort of a battery. Oh, it's actually got some writing on it right there. It's all rubbed off, so I won't be able to read it. But, um, yeah, I'm thinking it's some kind of a battery. I was at a place where a lot of people fish, and they fish overnight and stuff like that. Maybe it's for a headlamp, a, a little live well to keep your shrimp alive, something like that. I don't know, but let's get that out the way. I did hit this with my note to sand scoop, and I did bend the scoop a little bit. I was kind of disappointed in that. But, I mean, this thing it's it's solid it's heavy it's i mean i could see why it would bend uh, man the nocta sand scoop has been the best scoop as far as dry sand i've ever used now as far as wet sand i have already warped the handle and now i've bent the scoop itself so maybe not so much for the wet sand i do have two scoops and that's the reason why i do so let's put that aside this is something that really surprised me most of the time when i go to galveston beach I find a lot of gray matter and a lot of fishing lures and a lot of fishing hooks and a lot of swivels and these that's the only two pieces of uh, fishing gear I've found just goes to show you how hard that beach has been getting hit 
Uh, I did find this monstrosity. Uh, I believe it's like off a little sailing ship. I think that's a little tie down for your ropes. I'm not 100% sure. If you know, let me know. Um, as you see, I, my little two days of hunting, I did come back with a healthy amount of clad. I think I got, I think that's 26 pennies. Uh, six nickels, uh, four dimes, 11 quarters. And then the star find of the day's show, because it's only blingity bling 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 I found, was this little uh, bracelet here. It's got these cool little beads on it. And then it's got this little thingamabobber. I don't know if I can get that out of the way. Uh, I don't know what that is. Come on, focus, baby. There we go. I don't know what that is. It kind of reminds me of the ghost you see <laughs> in, uh, in Pac-Man. But I don't know. If anybody else knows what that is, uh, let me know. I just thought it was kind of cool. That was the one piece of blingity bling bling your boy came back with from the beach. Uh, I did have plans to hunt. Uh, I had two more days I was down there at the beach that I was planning on hunting. Unfortunately, but fortunately, uh, the storms rolled in. Um, now, let me tell you something, though. If you have never been at a hotel on the water's edge of uh, the ocean with a, a huge thunderstorm rolling through with a margarita in your hand, you haven't lived, man, because that was, that was an experience. That was pretty uh, nice. Only lost power once, and it was just for a second, so I was good. But anyway... Uh, man, I sure am glad y'all came along with me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about 1.09 on the beach. Uh, right now, I'm kind of in the air because uh, half half my hunt went horrible. And half, well, I wouldn't say horrible, but uh, half my hunt was not as uh, good as I expected, and the other half was basically what I expected. So I'm kind of confused, perplexed, as you may say. So anyway, it's your boy, the Texan Detector. Until next time, happy hunting and stay dirty, my friends. Or should I say... Stay sandy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Until the next one.